William F. Farley, president and owner of Farley Industries. Thank you, Red. Good evening, everyone. It's a deep honor to receive this award. And uh, while it's a great award, I do want to tell you it, it carries with it some problems. Uh, I'd like to share some thoughts with you about that this evening and do it in a, in a personal way that I haven't expressed publicly before. When uh, it was announced that I would receive the Horatio Alger Award, uh, of course, there are a number of articles written about this rags to, to riches story, and uh, my parents read uh, with some interest at first about this story, and then uh, there was an, an article that appeared in the Providence Journal, which is uh, their local newspaper, and it again mentioned uh, rags to riches, and so my dad called a friend of his at the Providence Journal, a reporter, to make a complaint and take out a disclaimer. <laughs> He said, uh, look, Bill uh, had a fairly decent uh, upbringing. <laughs> we consider ourselves to be a middle class family. He may not have had riches, but he certainly wasn't in rags. <laughs> he said, we are, we're really happy about Bill's financial success, but uh, when he and his sister were growing up, we tried to talk to them about values moral and spiritual values, things like honesty, integrity, caring for others, and not giving up. I think uh, when I read, I, in fact, this article appeared in the Providence Journal, and uh, when I read about it, a thought occurred to me, and that is that values really have been so important in my life, and I think they have carried th me through some really difficult times. I remember in starting the company in 1977, and I was uh, trying to borrow $1.7 million to purchase a company called Anaheim Citrus Products in Anaheim, California. Now, at the time, that was a little difficult because I only had $25,000, uh, depending on, plus or minus, depending on who I had dated the night before. <laughs> but I was, uh, I was confident uh, that the company would be successful if I could raise the money. I remember going to a banker in Los Angeles and I said to him, uh, Mr. Banker, uh, I don't know too much about the citrus industry. I've never run a company on my own before. Uh, and I don't really have a net worth. But I would like to borrow $1.7 million from you. <laughs> and he, uh, he walked over to his window and he said, Mr. Farley, he said, I was a physics major in college. He said, I learned some very important principles from physics. For example, if I were to jump out the, the window here of this 10th floor, there's some probability that I would fall up and not down. He said, that probability is not very great. But I want to make one thing very clear. There's a far greater probability of me falling up than this bank lending you one dime. Well, uh, I changed my pitch <laughs> to the next banker, and after really about six months, I was able to raise the funds, and that was the beginning of Farley Industries. You know, over the last couple of days since I've been here in Houston, I've had the, the privilege of being associated with the fellow awardees uh, this evening. And it occurred to me in the last day or so that there really is a common thread among us. I think it's a sense of values honesty, integrity, caring for others, and not giving up that has really made this group successful. I think by being true to these values, it has really lent a lot more than just financial success to all of us. And I must say I'm absolutely delighted and thrilled and very proud to be part of the group this evening. Thank you very much.